Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. I've decided to do part two of joining the Dark Brotherhood. In fact, I'm going to do multiple parts because I'm going to track my character's progress through the Dark Brotherhood missions. And in this case, it's a continuation of the previous video where Calvin got his assassination contract. And to be honest with you, I know that the guy Mireen wants dead is dead because I went through a Dwemer rune where he was located and killed him. But let's get on with part two of joining the Dark Brotherhood. I fast traveled to Markarth to talk to Mireen or Miri. And this is how the conversation went. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. What I need... What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. What? Elaine is... is dead. I, I... I'm grateful. I... it's just this... this isn't at all how I imagined things would play out. There was Elaine, but I was considering more, and... Ah, uh, well, dead is dead, right? My thanks to you, Assassin. Here's the gold I was going to pay for the job. You earned it, after all. Like I said, I knew the guy was dead. In the last time I played Skyrim, I went into a Dwemer rune where he was located because I was looking for something else, and he just happened to be there, and I killed him. And once you join the Assassin's Guild, well, guess what? If you've already killed him and you get the contract, easy peasy. So now I'm going to report back to Astrid about what happened, and then she gives me another assignment. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been, well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No. You need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Now, I decide not to continue on with the conversation, and I move on to spy on Cicero, which means hiding in the Dark Mother's coffin. I'm going to fast forward through all that because you're in the dark, and you just hear audio. So, yeah, no point into it. 
Once I exit the coffin, then I will let things continue. To summarize, the Dark Mother talks to you, and you are now considered the listener, but you must talk to Cicero afterward. You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. She, she said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. She has chosen you! <laughs> All hail the listener! <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now! Back away, fool! Whatever you've been planning is over! Are you alright? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor! I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Now go to Nazir and get two more assassination assignments. Yeah, okay. It's what you gotta do. And you overhear Nazir talking about the blacksmith job, which I guess involved him killing three t people and then blaming it on the mother. It can't possibly be true. You're referring to that blacksmith contract. To kill triplets, secretly, and then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. Hmm. <laughs> Been a while since I've actually cleaved someone in two. Forgot how hard it was to get the scimitar back out. Does death not come you to us all? You reek of death, my friend. 
I am I salute you. To be Doom's herald, to place some part in the Doom's well then, reign. your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Good luck. And try not to get yourself killed. Ah, too much. To be honest with you, Hearn is a vampire and not that tough. Unless you're at a low level. And the bard, orc bard, is, well, not that tough either. Just that you have to wait and wait and wait, or you just kill him in public, and you end up getting a bounty. And that's kind of what I ended up doing. Hearn was a much easier kill, so I'm going to get to his place at the sawmill and show you what happens. Can I help you? Well, now, what have we here? A lost li- Ah, so the Brotherhood has come for old Hearn, has it? Well then, let us meet as equals. Hey! First rule of RPGs, whether it's Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, any one of them, loot the bodies because there's potentially something of value on them. And yeah, you can sell it off or use it. Now, in this case, I'm also going to loot the um, establishment, but I'm just going to take gold because I really don't need anything else other than the gold. And once I'm done looting the establishment, I'm going to move on to the Orc Bard and show you how that works out. Because, like I said, I ended up killing him in public, getting a bounty, and, well, killing a few guards in the process. So let's see here. I'm done talking, and maybe we can get on with going to the Orc I don't think there's a stealth attack in Skyrim. You can't just walk up behind someone and stick him in the back like you can with Assassin's Creed. And even then, he has a witness. What about you, Yoda? Would you prefer I proclaim your beauty, your strength, your... Nah, just don't. Leave me out of it. No interest in being immortalized in song, remembered and praised for all eternity? No, I mean it. When I'm known throughout Tamriel, you'll regret this decision. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room. Hmm. All right, how about this? Shadows creep, and, and phantoms leap. A man's got, he's got scared, and the demons dare to, uh, visit upon him, all which they feared. Brilliant, I know. It's a gift. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? Pretty terrible, right? So, now I'm trying to talk to him, and all he does is yammer. And I talk to the innkeeper, and, well, yeah. I'm trying to find a time where I can just kill the orc dude in private, and it's not going to work out well. So I'll let this thing play out a little bit. You can see how I deal with it. Good day. <laughs> I 
I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? Yeah, I just killed them in public and now I got a thousand bounty added and I'm going to try and run. The guards are attacking me, the Morathal guards. To be honest with you, their weapons are not doing any damage to me because the dragon bone armor, plus I have an uh, enhancement on the armor that regenerates my health fairly quickly. So any damage they do is very minimal and I regenerate quickly and I tried to blast them yeah I'm playing around with these guys a little bit they're really doing nothing and eventually I'm going to fight back so yeah let's let this play out Last witness killed, 2,000 bounty removed. I don't know if that includes the bounty for killing the orc dude, but yeah, I'm going to loot these guys. I'm going to take the shield and the armor and put it on display in my trophy room in Lakeview Manor. And then I'm going to go report to Nazir. And I'll document that part. I'll do a part three and we'll go from there. Otherwise, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you watched this far, thank you. That helps with YouTube algorithms. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.